The game viewing took place in the most northerly part of the large Chobi National Park in Botswana. This area is marked in the south by a tar road and in the north by the Chobi River, which also forms the border with Namibia. Today is the seventh day of the safari in the Chobi National Park. Game view driving along the river, the Chobi River. This is the most furthest north part of the massive Chobi National Park. Yesterday was very really exciting with spectacular sightings. So let's see what the day has in store for us. Marabou's taking a rest. The back in front of the neck is inflatable and only serves a purpose during the mating season. It must not be mistaken for a crop which many birds possess. Buffalo bulls are often observed accompanied by cattle egret. They wait for the insects which are chased into the air by the hoofs of the buffaloes. The buffalo ignores the birds and also the cattle egret don't worry to be so close to a gigantic beast. bachelor group of impalas. These rams lost the fight for a harem and lived together in small male-only groups. White-faced ducks are gregarious and are seldom spotted single. As mentioned elsewhere, in southern Africa there is often more than one type of bird belonging to one species. There are four types of ibis, of which three occur along the Chobi River. An impressive large stork. The colors on the bill seem to represent the colors of the national flag of Germany or Belgium. The buffalo herd of several hundred heads has settled down for a rest. There are many calves amongst them. This is the time for oxpackers, also referred to as tick birds, to kick into action. A 
young Kudubur of not more than four years of age. A black-backed jackal has settled down for a rest and nibbles on a piece of dry skin. It doesn't provide any nutritional value but seems to keep him busy. Daytime temperatures are high and one might think that it digs for some food. As it turns out, he just wants to remove the hot top layer of soil to create a cool place for resting in the shade. The variety of birds which feed off the waters of the Chobi River is large and interesting. This reed cormorant caught quite a good sized catfish, but it also caught the problem how to swallow such a large meal. It appears too big for the throat of the cormorant. It decides to drop the fish and start afresh. And surprise, surprise, finally he gets it right. One should assume that this cormorant won't be hungry for a while. A typical idyllic scene of the wilderness of Botswana. Different species of animals living peacefully side by side, like these zebras and impalas. This almost grown-up fowl seems to be of last year's litter. But judging by the bulging out of the stomach of the mare, it might not be too long and a new baby might arrive. A trophy waterbuck bull in the company of its harem. One can spot the round white ring on the back of the waterbuck. Further north in, to Africa, like the neighboring Zambia, the color marking on the back of the waterbuck is different. There one can see the Defasa waterbuck. 
Waterbuck cows don't carry horns. The largest animal on earth with a length of up to five meters. The bony outcrops on the top of the head are covered by skin and at the tip by black hair. When bulls are fighting they use these outcrops like horns similar to other animals. The impressive long neck features seven longish vertebras, the same number as us human beings. The major veins are equipped with valves to prevent excess as well as insufficient blood flow, something which could be caused by the lifting or dropping of the head. With hundreds of square kilometers of semi-desert to the south, the availability of plenty water in the Chobe River is a blessing for birds and animals. However, it limits the variety of game drives. One drives along the river and is dependent on which animals will leave the bushes to come out in the open to get some water. Very often these are the same animals and it is not always guaranteed on a daily basis that one sees the one or the other exotic or rare species. So repetition is part of the daily routine. There's no, nothing one can do. Mm -hmm.